I became very interested when I moved to Sheffield in symbioses between plants and fungi and bacteria in the soil. And these symbioses are mutualistic. The fungus benefits from the plant giving it carbon that it's fixed through photosynthesis. And the fungus acts as an extension of the plant's root network. It goes out into the soil, it collects nutrients and it gives them back to the plant. And I became interested in whether or not we could start to use this symbiosis in agriculture. The National Association of Cider Makers is the trade association representing about 85% of the cider makers in the UK. We first got in touch with Merck and the University of Sheffield through an environmental sustainability knowledge transfer network meeting which was held at Sheffield to allow industry and uh, universities, not just Sheffield, to come together and just explore areas of potential research within the agricultural horticultural sector. So uh, fr from the meeting in Sheffield, uh, Duncan put in a bid to NERC which raised some money and uh, Heineken and the NSM worked together on that bid to work out how it would work in practice and from that we have a, had the research project with uh, Desfina's PhD which is now being managed through the National Association of Cider Makers. Our project is particularly looking at mycorrhizal fungi and um, how they can be of benefit for sustainable apple production and we're particularly looking to see if um, mycorrhizal associations can improve the health and um, disease resistance of apple trees and whether there can be a substitute for fertiliser inputs to orchards and therefore improve the environmental um, sustainability of apple production. So it's been really excellent to be able to work closely with Heineken on this project and we've been working closely with the apple growers at Heineken um, to really gain their knowledge of and expertise of apple growing and the agricultural industry to make this project really relevant to actual real life situations. There are two major impacts that we want to address with this project. Firstly, the UK agri-tech industry spends millions of pounds a year on nitrogen and phosphorus fertilisers. And the use of soil microbes can help reduce massively the amount of fertilisers that we apply. And so for UK businesses, reduce the cost of producing food, which hopefully also gets passed on to consumers. Secondly, by adding large amounts of nutrients to the environment, we cause environmental problems. So if we have less in the way of chemical inputs, there is less opportunity for this pollution to manifest itself in a loss of biodiversity. If the research proves what we, we hope to find, that we can optimise the nutrients, then that will help reduce costs for the industry as well and improve the overall health of the trees and, and yield also. So it, it really is a win-win for the NACM in that we can reduce our costs and inputs but also uh, improve the quality of the fruit from the trees. In terms of running the PhD, so far it's been an easy relationship and uh, now we're looking forward to the results of the research.